And what's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpCentrals.com back with another SketchUp animation tutorial for you with Animator. So in today's video we're going to talk about how to create a nut and bolt animation. So basically an animation where the nut spins and then it moves down the bolt. So we're going to talk about tying those two things together um, to create our animation inside of SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so let's start off by going to the 3D warehouse. And we're just going to do a search for nut and bolt. And one thing, by the way, is make sure that you click over to the models section right here. And then we're going to sort these by popularity. And so in this case, let's go ahead and let's actually go with this number five nut and bolt down here. So we're just going to click on that and download that into our model like this. So we're going to click on yes. And we're going to bring this in. And so obviously it's way too big. Um, we're gonna scale it down a little bit just by tapping S and then single clicking and kind of minimizing it. We'll leave it kind of big just so we don't have to zoom way in here. Let's go ahead and let's uh, scale this down so it's a more realistic size like this. I'm not gonna worry about getting it exactly the scale. Um, this is gonna be good enough. But what I wanna do is let's go ahead and let's right click on this and let's explode it so we can get the individual parts. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this piece out and that's gonna leave me with these parts right here. And I'm gonna start by taking these three objects. So I'm just gonna do a shift click. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna put those in a group. So now we have a bolt and we have a nut object. And so now it's time to start using Animator. So the first thing you need to do is save your model because Animator doesn't work on unsaved files. And by the way, I will link to Animator down below. Um, but we're gonna save this then we're just going to click on the button for clip editor and the clip editor is going to pop up this little menu over here um, with our timeline as well and so what we want to do is we want to insert a movement for an object inside of our model so to do that we're just going to come up here and we're just going to click on the button for insert a unit movement and we're going to click on new movement and so what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to select an object and apply a movement to it so there's two different ways we could do this. Um, so the one way is something that we've talked about before. We could apply a translation and a rotation of this object. So we could do that if we wanted to, but it's gonna be easier to use the screw movement. Because so what the screw movement is gonna do is it's gonna combine the translation, the movement up and down, with the rotation, so the turning of this object. All right, so what we need to do with this object is we need to control two things. So the first thing we need to control is the offset, which is going to be the distance that this moves up or down, right? So in this case, we can just set our offset with a value. So let's type in three quarters of an inch and hit the enter key. Notice how this moves that up right here. And basically what that means is that means that right now, as a part of this three quarter inch movement or as a part of this uh, screw translation that we've provided, it's gonna move this by an offset of three quarters of an inch, right? But if we click on the checkbox right now and we look at this animation, notice how this is only gonna move upward and you're not really getting a whole lot of spin in here, right? It's not really spinning like a screw would spin um, or a bolt would spin on these threads. And so what we wanna to do to fix that is we just wanna come in here and we just wanna right click and edit the element. That's gonna take us back inside of this object. And notice how right now that offset is set to three quarters of an inch, but our thread per inch is really low. And so this is gonna control the speed of our rotation. So for example, let's click in here and let's type in a value of one and hit the enter key. And then we'll click this button right here to save the sequence and exit. Well now, notice what you're getting is you're getting a spin of this object over the two second duration of this moving up and down, right? And so then you can control the number of spins that you get in here just by right clicking and editing your element again. And let's say, for example, that you wanted this to be maybe like three, right? So we're gonna click on okay. We'll click on the checkbox again. We'll notice how now you're gonna get a lot more spins in here based on that higher value. So you can adjust this as much as you like to get kind of a realistic look to it. But one thing I'm noticing right now is at the moment, this is moving in the wrong direction, right? So it's spinning the wrong direction. So we're just gonna type in a value of negative three and hit okay. Now you can see how this is spinning in our animation, the proper direction. So you can use those settings to adjust the way that this is going to move 
inside of SketchUp. But now let's say that we wanted this to have a longer duration, right? Well, we're, we're going to, and I'm gonna set this to maybe like negative five or something like that instead. But now we wanna set the duration of our animation, right? So the way that we're gonna do that is we're just gonna save the sequence and exit, go back over here, whoops, there we go. And we're gonna adjust how long this is over here. And so notice right now, you can see this spinning inside of our model. And we can see how this clip right here has a duration of two seconds. And if you click on it, you're gonna get this little window right here showing you the duration. Well, let's say we wanted this to be a longer animation. Well, let's adjust this so that it has a duration of five seconds by clicking on the duration, then typing in a value. Now, if I click play, you can see how this is going to give me that animation right here. And I think this is actually spinning the wrong direction, oddly enough. So I'm just gonna go back. I'm just going to right click on this and click on edit element. And we're gonna set this to a value of positive three instead. So it's really easy to adjust if you make a mistake like that, but then we can just click play and just look at this. And for me, this probably needs to spin a little bit more. So let's just edit this again. You can kind of play around with this until you get the look that you want. So that's probably pretty close. And then you could do some other things in here as well. So you could, for example, and so you could click on this and you could do like a copy and then paste down here. And then for the second animation, we could set reverse the sequence. So what that means is that means for our first sequence, this is gonna move upward. For the second one, it's going to reverse the sequence and it's gonna move it back downward. So you can use this to make this movement in here. And there's a lot of practical things you could do with this depending on the kind of animation that you're trying to create. But we're gonna go ahead and call this good for right now. Let's go ahead and export this to a video. So the way that we're gonna do that is we're just gonna click on the button for generate a video for the film. And so you're probably gonna have to set up FFmpeg, which is basically a program that um, you can download and put on your PC that'll stitch these into video files. So I will link to a video that I did showing you how to do that separately. But for now, we're just gonna call this nut and bolt animation. I'm gonna select the option for MP4. That should show up as an option after you install FFmpeg. I'm gonna leave the rest of this as is for right now. So we'll do a test image right here just to see the size of the animation that we're gonna create. And I'm gonna go ahead and call this good for right now. So this is gonna generate 250 frames. And so as soon as I click on generate video, what that's gonna do is that's going to export all of the different frames of our video and it's gonna stitch them together into a single animation. So um, I'll let this work for a minute and then we'll come back and take a look at what we've got. All right, so now what we can do is we can click the play button. That's gonna open up the video that we created. And you can see how we now have an animation. This nut turns and it moves up and down the bolt. So you can use this to create a lot of other kinds of animations as well. But um, this is an easy way to create those animations from SketchUp where the geometry actually moves. So if that's where I'm going to end this video, leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Have you worked with Animator before? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. So if you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.